I just saw a Chinese five loon. This is Storm Chasers with Jim Cacciatore, Nance Cacciatore, I forget his name. But we saw a balloon up ahead. Conditions are favorable for it to be falling in front of us. Oh my God, it's a UFO or it's a Chinese spy balloon. It's one of the two. I don't know which. Oh man. After watching the first Indiana Jones movie the other week, I am now gonna review the first couple Indiana Jones sets. So I gotta find the ones from the movie I just watched, plus the ones that uh, they're remaking. So Temple of Doom, I'm gonna need this set. God, it's gonna hurt to open, but I'm gonna start doing it. I don't need whatever that one is, and I don't need that one. The other should be in this box. Uh, it's 2005. They're in that box. Oh, no. <laughs> Had to move a lot of items down, but we are officially down to the final layer here to get into the Indiana Jones box, and none of them got crushed. So we need... Oh, man... I'm gonna have to open this. Everyone's like dying, I'm sure. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to open that. And then I think there were two more. I know one of them was really small. I think it's like battle, there it is, battle pack size. There it is, I'm gonna need that. That's from the first first movie as well, great scene. Uh, not that one, where's the airplane set? Oh, that one. Do need this one, they're remaking this and it's from the first movie, that was a pretty cool scene with all the snakes, and then uh, airplanes. Not that airplane. Oh, wow, I didn't realize this box would be so big. This is a $40 set back in the day. It's a pretty pretty hefty box. Uh, we're trying to clean through the uh, storage a little more to find more sets that I want to get rid of, and I came across this. I totally forgot I had it. Uh, very cool store display from 2020 and cannot wait to display it in my house or studio or whatever. So I'm gonna actually put this like somewhere where I'll remember it is so I don't forget about it. But I was digging down here to get rid of the NES. I think it's the first day I ever met Bricks are kind of a weird thing. But um, yeah, I bought this set like on release day and then never, never made a video with it. So NES is getting sold. Just hit the jackpot. Remember when Lego says they can't sell minifigures on their own? They sold these on lego.com and I bought like a dozen. So I just found whatever I had left of them. I don't remember if I was keeping, if I had one sealed, but just we will put these on the sell pile and see what's what. Uh, this is my small box battle pack collection that I don't think I could part with because small boxes are cool. All right, I got a big box here. Let's find out what's inside. Ooh, it looks like a lot of good stuff to sell. So, oh man. Well, of course, classic, instant classic here. Of course, there's just happens to be a sealed Gen Air so in here. Why wouldn't there be? Uh, that is a keeper, absolutely. Um, this, I don't know where this came from. This might have been a gift from someone, but we'll put it there for now. Uh, this is the Plants from Plants. I think these are edible, actually. Nah, not, not edible at all. I'll just put these in my plant collection. Uh, when I make a mock with plants, tell me if you can see the one with tooth marks. I paid $60 for this from Atlanta Brico. Hopefully it's worth more. No, not worth more. Okay. Uh, to sell the, this, is, this is the sell aisle here. So the next time I come to the storage unit, I'm going to bring all of this into my car. This is a cool set to keep for my holiday Christmas Lego setup. When I move, uh, this is, oh, I, I used to think this set was cool. I bought some of these sets back in like 2018, 2019. I probably bought this on clearance for $7. There's no sticker on it. it must've been a Walmart, like non-sticker clearance. I'm pretty sure I bought this for like seven bucks. That's an easy sell pile. Um, let's see, we got the train. This is, a, this is a keeper. That one's pretty cool, honestly. I'm gonna keep that train. Looks like we got uh, about a dozen of these battle packs here and I'm still not sure I think I'm going to end up selling these. Uh, and then we have the sealed 2018 X-Wing. Haven't even opened this one yet. And then uh, the pirate ship, which I'm clearly never going to do anything with either. So that's another stupid set that I bought for full price and never, never did anything with. I got a package from Whatnot, and this is the Whatnot exclusive minifigure for this weekend. It's a chocolate-covered strawberry. So very interesting figure uh, that they put out very creative and then this big shout out to Garrett and he even threw in an extra 501st battle pack uh, very very nice of him didn't necessarily need it obviously but he threw it in as a nice extra gift anyway we got a couple interesting Lego sets here 
and I do mean a couple, Command Ant, Clone Cody. I can't wait to see the Reddit post being like, is this a common, is this a misprint? And it's like, no, it's just another language. They always do this, yet people always post about how, oh, but it's spelled wrong. What did they do? And I'm like, bro, you're dumb, but that's okay. I just got a package in from Maddie's minifigures and it has a ton of Commander Cody's for my one-out auction. Also, I'm in the middle of building the Captain Rex helmet I did not finish last night. And then I think 70 Blue Milk Loops. I don't know where he's been getting all these Blue Milk Loops, but he's had like a thousand of them, maybe more. And he had 70 more and he like posted on his Instagram. He's like, gonna get rid of the rest of them bulk one price. I was like, shoot, I'll take them. These will be on uh, whatnot. I'll put the link in the description below if you want to sign up. You know, hashtag ad, I guess. Now it's time to finish this Captain Rex build so I can get my review out this afternoon. It looks a little bit funky right now. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to finish this up within an hour. I'm on, I got this bag and another. This was a lot of parts in this bag, by the way. But once this is done, I will be very happy. Got a bit of a weird feeling today while I'm building this Commander Cody. It's just like a peaceful feeling while I'm building. Like, I don't really know how to explain it, but I haven't really enjoyed a Lego build like the Cody and, and like the Rex the last couple days in like a few years. I just have a different vibe while I'm building. I don't know if it's like the weather outside or what it is, but I'm just kind of feeling really good about these and I feel happy and content and I don't know why or what it is, but uh, just wanted to note that. I finished my Commander Cody helmet review. So Rex and Cody are done. Just need the Boosh helmet and I'll be good. But I was bored and I had the box that Maddie's minifigures had sent me the Blue Milk Luke's in. I was like, it'd be kind of funny if I set this up. I was like gonna cut, I started cutting this off and I was like, oh my God, no, this should totally be like a little store thing for Got Milk so I can like put it in the background because <laughs> it's funny. So yeah, I got a little creative for, for my whatnot stream. Still kind of working through the space in here. Uh, this is going to go. This I'll probably just give to Atlanta Brico or Orlando Brico uh, when I get there, just so they can have some boxes to fill their shelves. And yeah, we're working on it. It's going good in here. Well, I'm down to my remnants of the Hothmock that I tried to build in early 2020. A lot of you guys might not even know I tried to do it, but I did. And uh, it, it got pretty swelled up quickly, but now it's getting all cupped up. Last couple boxes out of the back here from underneath. It looks like we have a box of Naboo builds and other miscellaneous. Oh, a lot of these are going to be cells, actually. That is a mess of a box, though. That looks awful. And then this one, I think it's just all 2x4 bricks. Heck yeah, bro. We'll leave that there because that doesn't need to go right now. I was hoping to find an Ahsoka figure in here because it's like 300 bucks, but I uh, did not find. So, yeah, uh, I'm selling this anyway. I got to buy a sealed one. I don't think I have a sealed one of these, actually. Haven't seen one at least, so I'm pretty sure I don't. I had been seeing this up here for like a year and I had no idea what it was. It's a freaking store banner and it's super good. I'm gonna put it back up there. It's gonna stay back up here. That is awesome. I did not know what that was, but now I know. And so that'll be something I can display when I move. These are keepers. These are some of my favorite non-Lego Star Wars sets, Apocalypseburg, Barracuda Bay. So those are staying. Found a Phantom 2 in one of these boxes here uh just another easy thing to sell since i have a sealed one it's probably only gonna sell for like 10 or 20 bucks but it's a cool set and i hope someone that wants it gets it grabbed all these and brought them in here i'm not selling these till march but all these mando battle packs uh for season three of the mandalorian like sponsored whatnot stream yeah 33 of them those are all the ones i bought from blackwell at uh brick con atlanta for the first time in like three years i can see table boys this is wild what a what an accomplishment, honestly. Found my poly bag box. Oh boy, do we have poly bags to sell. Uh, some of these are like personal collection keepers, but there's definitely some some duplicates in here that I will not be keeping anymore. I just peeked back here. I did not realize I still had the Rex cells here. I'm kind of excited. I thought I sold this a long time ago. I remember throwing it in the pool, so I know it's got like salt residue on it. No way, bro. This was the coolest set. Oh, I'm geeking out on this one. That's fun. That is hella fun. So I uh, have a sealed one of these. So this is going to be a definite sell. I just opened a box from 2020. It says March or rather April 19th, 2020. And inside is my Lego shop at home order that I never opened, I guess, because I must have figured out how to get these helmets like a day earlier than I did from Lego.com. But I got all three. <laughs> 
of the original Helmet Wave from 2020. So three years later, I finally opened the box. I literally, the reason I never did anything with this because I knew what I had and I was like, I'll just save them as an investment. And now that investment is going to pay dividends because that's like 250 bucks, 200 bucks. That's like $200. That's probably like 70, 80 bucks and maybe 90. Like good investment, right? So that worked out. I just got super lucky. I found this in my closet. I have one there sealed. I have one here sealed. And I, I have a third now. I am over them. I was like, let's go. So now I have to weigh it and see if it has a chrome vader in it or not. Probably not, but I'll, I'll weigh it later when I get the scale out. I'm just leaving the gym and I have to go. We're going to drop our stuff off at the storage unit. And then we're going to get all the stuff I have to sell this weekend. It's going to be a lot of stuff. I don't think it's all going to fit in my car in one go. All right, I got everything I'm bringing up. This is all going to go in the storage unit. And then everything on the left side in here. So all of this stuff on the left has to go. Oh boy. So I'm bringing this uh load down i'm gonna fill this up in the car and then come back and see you know i gotta put this still into the unit and then i'll come back and see what else i still need to grab because there's still more stuff i want to sell i've been dragging in everything from the car that needs to be listed on whatnot from the storage unit last night it's a lot of stuff and i am not looking forward to the amount of work it's going to take but i know the light is at the end of the tunnel and that's what matters so we'll keep it going we'll get it done the packing and whatnot listing must continue. I started using some of these bags to pack sets that I'm keeping. So like the custom slave one here. And then I'm also gonna put the landing pad hopefully in a bag. Uh, should maybe fit. And But yeah, I figured that's a good way to tr help transport things. A lot of people ask me how the heck I'm gonna move things. This will be part of that system, so to speak. I figure this system is better than just dumping everything in boxes because at least I think if I put these three cars together in one bag, then I know if a piece falls off, it goes to one of those versus like if I put those three cars that you see, I set in that all in one box and a piece falls off, who knows which set it went to. Going through a bunch of these minifigures here to see what I want to sell and what I want to keep out of this whole big bin. And I found this really cool misprint. It'll hopefully focus in. Yeah, that's a pretty wild rebel helmet misprint. Never seen anything like that. Well, I was trying to get rid of Legos, obviously, but Zavi just hooked it up they sent me some stuff here do not put it on shelf until august 1st 2022 watch out boys it's gonna be some good stuff and then i got this banner let me open this banner box this will be cool too i have great nostalgia for 2011 and this is this is amazing i'm so happy with this so the first box here is the Atari. I didn't realize they were gonna send me the Atari, but I do have a video I can do with the Atari and I have the NES, so it will work. I will eventually make a video with that. And then the one I knew they were sending me is the Black Panther. So if you want a Black Panther, get it from Zavi. I'll put my link for them down in the description below. I know this is not a fan favorite set, but I'm gonna make a video about it, kind of a review, much like I did with the foosball table. Um, I told them I'd make content about it if they sent me one, because I, I think it's an interesting concept for a set that's obviously strikingly similar to Darth Maul. And there's some things to be said about it that the Ambassador Network reviewers obviously would never say. And then the big one over here, Commander Cody, Captain Rex, and they actually threw in an extra Mandalorian, which I guess I'll give away on Whatnot. So I'll put my Whatnot link down below because I don't need another Mando helmet. But these are incredible, obviously. I already did reviews on them. But in the future, hopefully Xavier will be able to get me sets before I can get them elsewhere. That was kind of the whole idea. So they definitely work their magic. I have these still a couple weeks early, even though I've already had them from elsewhere anyway. But yeah, that's this has been the plan. And thank you to Xavier for helping make it possible and yeah i'm very stoked to have these ones early these ones i know i already did a review that's what the plan was with their sets but i'm gonna do a rebuild video uh with these into like normal helmets basically it is moving sale day and i've continued to pack away different items or separate bins and bring some bins out there but uh today we're selling all this and a lot <laughs> A lot more. I also got the big bags from Target. These much larger bags should make life easier when it comes to, I don't know, sets like an Imperial Shuttle I can just fit in a bag versus like the gallon bags. They were nice and useful for some mid-tier LEGO Star Wars sets or if I was going to take them apart, but like I could fit like a whole ARC-170 in there and not worry about it. We're, we're currently selling these. It's almost midnight. I've been live streaming forever and so I'm also going to sell like these Planet Series and this will probably be the Ooh. last box I sell through. You want any of these? Kind of. I want one sealed though. <laughs> you want one sealed? You'll have to go on eBay. But yeah. How much uh, are they? Or whatnot. 
Um, I don't know, it depends on which one you want specifically, but, you know, we got a bunch of planet series to sell, and then I'll be pretty much done for the night. This one looks cool. I may do a second day tomorrow well, selling just used parts, but, uh, yeah, that's tapping me. Yeah. So, yeah, all three of these here, fellas. Yeah, these were in the comparison video. I'm going to redo the comparison video, though, in the future. Behind the scenes. It's all sold, fellas. We did... I cannot believe we did it. It only took nine hours. I didn't film as much vlog stuff of it as I wanted to, but, I mean... It was kind of repetitive, you know, put yeah, thing up, sell it, put thing up, sell it, put thing up, sell it. And uh, we sold it. All of it is gone. Now tomorrow, ooh, an extra, throw it in someone's bag, just give it to them. I sold a bulk of what I wanted to sell. I am thrilled. So thank you to anyone who showed up to the stream. I, I'm dead tired, but I'm happy it all sold. So we're into order packing, and I kind of realized we could make our lives a little bit... Hold on, Corey, I'll help you in a second. But we're going to, like reorganize this well i'm gonna like clean this completely off so that we can like bring these crates out and just have them set up here and like boxes like that those will be like one-time grabs you'll go in the other room and get type of thing so i'm just trying to like make it easier so now we got a bit more of a workable space we can like put things here so we'll grab like drawers of things that like probably sold things and bring them out like if we sold any golf droids there they are Sold any Vaders. Just put them here, they're accessible, you know where they are. Corey's in here making the big boxes for the big buys, and I got this is a smaller box. We just got these in the mail from UPS, so they're very helpful. But yeah, we're starting to stack up some big ones. It's a real good feeling when all the battle packs fit perfectly with the other thing you needed. So if this guy's gonna, gonna get his order in one box, let's go. Easy peasy. Thank you guys for the support on that stream. It was insane. I hope that anyone that bought stuff enjoys what they got. I also really hope we didn't mess up anyone's order because we just spent like 12 hours straight packing orders and hopefully didn't mess anything up. So we'll see, but uh, I'll show you guys what the orders look like. It's a lot of orders and they're um, piled up forever. So I'm sending my cousin Camden my old Kyrie's here because they are too tight on my feet and I wrote him some notes so that uh, he knows how or which foot each shoe goes on hopefully when he gets these you know you don't want to get confused with them so i wanted to be able to figure it out easily